Uh, oh man, I wish I would have come across poor Treasy sooner because I actually, I appreciate her perspective. I guess she went to the blog house or whatever in LA. I didn't even hear about this. I have not, honestly, it has not been a regular thing. Like I've only been back online for not that long. I was really trying to be in therapy. Anyway, um, I will say this. She was talking about clout chasers and here's the thing like, there's a difference between people who have ambition and then clout chasers because like the reason that I go so hard for artists like Ruth B or like I don't know maybe like Haley Williams um are because these artists have started local like they didn't say oh I need to move to New York oh I need to move to LA and that's the only way I'm going to be relevant or have significance in life or something they said like hey here I am and I have this story to tell now and I'm gonna tell this story now and I've been trying to do that for a very long time to say like I am a local here I'm just here just living my life here and the other people that I come across in my life as I'm here I want to have experiences with those people not like new people just like these people and like that's it um, and so I don't know, I feel like maybe that's like weird or something, but well, I don't actually, it's not really that weird. Like, I, I think the thing that Cortuzzi was getting at, but maybe she didn't have like the proper words to explain it, is that like the LA people are clout chasing because they don't actually have anything else. Like what they're trying to do is get closer and closer to like celebrity culture not because they're actually like actual celebrities are offering something like we can say whatever we want about kim kardashian but she's offering photographs and makeup those are real things that she is selling which are now commodities that she is trading for money so like there are some girls who are participating in this now by getting ads and doing advertisements so they are also a part of the economy okay then there's the other people who are the actual models like the cindy bruna she is like actually walking down the runway right so like a company is choosing to pay her to do that she's a part of the economy like that's her job now we can not we i feel like i don't feel like this but some people can be out there and they can be like haters and be like oh no i don't like her style i don't like her look blah 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 whatever that critique they have about her but the crux of the matter is like this is her job this is what she's getting paid to do she is also a part of the economy that's real right and like that's all i'm saying and i want to like i don't know actualize that i guess because the clout chasers they don't actually have any ambitions to do stuff most of them at least like most of them are like like i think that's another one of the things that people don't realize when they're saying like oh there people are creating um artists and stuff like la has done that for a long time that's all hollywood is about it's about selecting whoever an it girl is of the moment it's like an it girl of the moment usually this girl's like white usually she is like i don't know pretty like vanilla and like that's what they try to do so there's like obviously every single girl can't be her the one it's girl because it's there's only one and they're they're hand picking them um yeah they're hand picking those girls and so it's not like i think that's another difference between her or those type of la girls and like a taylor swift because a taylor swift is country like she started country and she had stories about the country and she was telling stories about where she was she wasn't moving she was telling stories like where she was where she is that's kind of the same thing i have an ambition to do just to tell stories about like my life about what I've experienced. But also I feel like I'm at a pretty good place now because I've had a lot of different experiences. And so it's not like coming from some place of like, oh, I'm not worldly. And so I talk about like a Doja Cat, unfortunately, who I feel like is very urban and clustered in one segment of life. Her, as opposed to like a SZA, right? Like a SZA, I think whoever her African parents were, they, she just had like a different lived perspective growing up already, like a foundation of culture. And then Americana experiences, which make her perspective more cultured and like relevant to a lot of different types of girls, guys, people in society so that's new um or a yuna right that's another example 
or honestly, I think a Ruth B, another great example. So all of those are really great examples of um, kind of like artists who are bringing something new to the table. But there's other artists, like I think a good example of this might be like Pia Mia. Um, I, saw, I saw her, she's like, to me, she seems like a clout chaser. Like she's not really talented. She's to me, she's not even really pretty, but she's like visible. She's hyper visible to that group of people who follow her. Um, those are like the LA type of people. That they're just clout chasing. They're trying to like be in a space just so that they can be in a space. Like for me, I don't do that. I, don't get me wrong, because like if there's if there is a local event, I will go to a local event simply because the event is local. That's it. These are public events that anyone could go to. I just happen to go because of an interest. So like if there's a meta learning conference, I'm gonna go because I'm into meta learning. <laughs> so then just by going to that conference, I, like if your paper is interesting, I will read your paper and I will have something to say about your paper. But like, that's it. Like the only reason I know so many, like I guess like hot engineers or whatever is just because I was competing with them for jobs. That's it, like it wasn't, I mean, when the interview comes, I'm for sure gonna show up because like, I'm trying to get the internship. That's as deep as it goes. We can honestly go our separate ways after that though. We don't have to like, I guess it's also weird too because as people like mature into like whatever their next phase of adulthood is, then it gets kind of weird because like that is where I am. And so I think people are curious about like, what that looks like and how to navigate through it, which is why I've been trying to make more content about it. But like I said before, and I, I said this in the past, and I would just continue to say it, like, I think more people should just get really comfortable with just having a regular job. Just just be a regular person. Like, that's okay. Having a career is okay. If you have an ambition to be a doctor, go be one. You don't have to marry a doctor. If you have an ambition to be a lawyer, go be a lawyer. You don't have to marry one. Like, it could be you. 